I'm now going to solve single stoichiometry problem 1E from the worksheet. And in this problem, it's actually a two-part problem. Um, each of them is a single problem. Um, but I've been given 24.3 grams of NBI3 and 24.3 grams of I2. When you've been given two quantities and asked to find who's the excess or who's the limiter, you must set up two templates. So you're going to set up two equations using the template for a stoichiometry problem, which we've gone over several times by this point, which is the number you were given in the problem, and I'll have two different numbers given, over the number given from the box, that's the reference numbers, over the coefficient of what you're trying to find, of the coefficient of what you were given. Um, and then I've got the number from the box for the fine units over 1. Now, this all can be written on the belly of your mole. And you cannot use any other reference sheet other than your mole. So if you haven't got a mole, you'll have to memorize that. Okay, so I have the first problem set up, um, 24.3 grams of NBI3. According to the template, um, that means I have to look for the number from the box for the given units. And if I've been given in grams, I've got to look up the molar mass of NBI3. The molar mass of NBI3 is I've got 1 NB, that's 93, and 3 I's, each at 127 grams. Both of those numbers come off the periodic table. And that gives me a total of 474 grams. Okay, The coefficients. The coefficients are out of this equation. Now you might say there are no coefficients in this equation, but this is a balanced equation with a 1, 1, 1 coefficient. That's not always the case, so you'll always double check. I've got 1 NB, 1 NB, 5 I's on the reactants and 5 I's on the products. So both sets of coefficients are going to be a 1 for this problem. That's the coefficient of what you're trying to find, um, which in this case, it's just telling me find which reactant is the limiter, but there is only one item to find. Okay, so I am going to be picking NBI5 as what I am trying to find. Its coefficient is 1. Over the coefficient of what I've been given, which is the 1 for the NBI3. Now, what units do you want to solve this for? This just says find which reactant is the limiter which quite frankly means I get to choose what units. If you're looking at the reference number, if I got to choose any one of these numbers to use, I'm going to pick moles. You can pick any one of these other numbers, and who is the, uh, the uh, limiter and who is the excess will work out the same. It just won't be the same exact number I come out with. So I'm solving for moles, and that number is always a 1. So when I take 24.3 and divide it by... Uh, 474, I end up with 0 0.05 moles of NBI5. That's the same problem that I solved back in 1A. For the next problem, they gave me, tw it's the same problem, this is all letter E, this whole piece, um, 24.3 grams of I2 this time. Now I've got to look up the molar mass of I2. Um, each I is 127 grams when I look it up on the periodic table, which means 245 grams is the mass of NBI2. The coefficients, once again, are 1s, because that's the coefficient of what I'm trying to find, which is, there's only one thing, NBI5, over the coefficient of what I've been given, which in this case is the I2, but its coefficient is also 1, I get to pick the same thing as I picked before, because in order to compare these two units, they have to be the same. So when I solve that problem, I could make 0 0.096 moles of NBI5 can be made. Now, the question is asking me, who is the limiter? The limiter is always which one of these created less. That is how it limited you. 
when I figure out which number is less, the answer is who is responsible for that. And the answer to this question of who's responsible for the limiter is NBI3 is what I ran out of. I ran out of NBI3 after only making 0 0.05 moles. And I had more of the I2, enough to make 0 0.096 moles. Therefore, the number associated with the smallest one is the limiter. The other one is referred to as the excess.